What's up guys, Blake here again with GodOfVaping.com and today I'm going to be doing yet another review and this time it is Kanger's new Drip Box Starter Kit. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, ignition, lift off. Now, this new drip box starter kit is a very different one from what we're normally seeing, especially from Kanger. There are many of you out there that think this new drip box starter kit is some kind of crazy uh, concoction that they thought up, but it's actually not. The drip box, uh, well, similar to the drip box, uh, this style of device has been out for quite a while now. And this style is actually called a squonker, or what most people know it by as a bottom feeding mod. Now, bottom feeding mods is actually where you feed the e-liquid from the bottom of the device up into the RDA or into the atomizer, hence the term bottom feeding. Now, these devices, like I said, have been out for quite a while. Matter of fact, probably four years ago, maybe, yeah, probably about, about four to five years ago, is when the Rio mod was so big and popular. It's hard to believe that way back then, we had actual mods that would basically do the same thing this drip box is doing. And to be honest with you, the only difference between these two is one was made in the USA, had better quality, and it looked a lot better in my opinion. And then the drip box, you had this drip box that's uh, much lighter, made out of uh, aluminum, you know, so the quality isn't there as much as what a US squonker would be. However, this drip box still serves the same purpose, and as long as it performs and works as it should, then it's an okay in my book. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and dive down and take a closer look at this Kanger drip box starter kit. All right, guys, so you were looking at the packaging for the Kanger drip box starter kit. As you can see at the top, it says the drip box name and then white indicating what color this mod actually is. And if we zoom out, you can obviously see here is the drip box setup. You have the drip mod and then you also have the sub drip RDA. And just like with most Kangers packaging, everything looks nice and neat. And you can see that K logo sitting in the back. Now if we flip to one side, you can see that it says drip box starter kit. The other side says just the same thing. The bottom says made in China, while the top says Kanger Tech with the Kanger Tech logo. Now on to the back side. As you can see at the top, it says drip box starter kit, and then it goes on to share what is actually in this package, which is the sub drip RDA, the drip mod, the replacement drip coil, an accessory pack, a USB cable, and a user manual. Just below that, we have a small caution, and then it also lets you know that it was designed and manufactured by Kanger. So let's open up this packaging and the first thing you see is the drip box. Let's go ahead and pull that out. You lift up this little foam piece and now you get a view of all of its contents. The first thing we have here is the drip box user manual. And inside that user manual, we have an authenticity card right here. And we have these black stickers right here that will go over your battery. The next thing we have is a micro USB cable. We have an extra 7 mil e-liquid bottle, a pack of cotton, and then we have your regular mini screwdriver, extra screws, and some pre-made coils. And the last thing they included in this packaging is the spare coil. Now, if you look closely at this spare coil, this is not your average coil head. Being that this is an RDA and they do offer uh, coils for you to just install in this RDA, it also includes the deck itself. So when you're changing out your coils here, you can either change it out like you would normally do in an RDA where you just pull the coils out, pull the cotton out, and uh, reinstall a coil. Or you can simply reinstall the whole deck itself, which is... And you know, an actual, um, it's a pretty cool feature that they have here. It makes, uh, it makes dripping a lot easier 
um, for your newer vapors. So now guys, it's time to look at the Kanger drip box itself. Now, one of the things that you need to understand about this device is that it doesn't have a variable wattage or variable voltage control on it. And instead, it's an unregulated device, more much like a mechanical mod where it actually pulls the power from the battery itself. So depending on the battery life you have in your battery installed, depends on how much power will be going to your actual coil. Now, some of you might be wondering uh, why this device looks the way it does. And that's very understandable being that you have a bottle down here at the bottom of the device. Now, what this device is called is a squonker. And most people know it by as being a bottom feeding mod. And with that being said, the e-liquid is actually held down here at the bottom of the device. In this bottle, you manually press this bottle here and it squirts e-liquid up into the RDA here to supply liquid to your coils. Once you press this bottle here, e-liquid will travel up and go onto your wick, saturating that wick so that you can vaporize it. So starting at the top guys, we have this drip cap here, and if you see it's notched, that will allow you to adjust the airflow here. So let's put that back in there. You put that there, and then it'll be wide open airflow, or you can twist it to cut off the airflow. Now, this is a normal RDA. It's got a velocity style deck, as you can see right here. But what makes this different is, see that hole down in there? It's probably hard to see with a wick in the way. But when you press that, liquid will come up. I'm gonna try to show you that right now. Let's get that focused in. You see that liquid coming up? When I press, see how it goes down. You can see on the top side, I'm going to press that bottle and there goes the liquid. And you can see how this works. Now, if we screw that off and look at the bottom, you can see that it's different from a normal RDA. It's got the hole here and you can see it's got that hole there. And once we do that, it, you can see it'll squirt liquid up. See that liquid coming up. So moving on guys from that RDA, you can see at the top it says drip mod because this is the actual drip mod and this is the sub drip RDA. You can see that we have Kanger Tech written right here. We had the seven mil bottle right here. Here's Kanger's ventilation hole with their Kanger logo, which will allow you to see the battery inside. And then on this side, we had the micro USB port, which will allow you to charge your battery while it's in the device. Now, if we turn this bad boy over to the bottom side, you can actually see right here, you can unscrew, keep unscrewing, there it goes. And this is where you can insert the single 18650 battery. So you'll throw your 18650 in there just like that and screw it on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and warn you uh, screwing this thing back on is a bit of a hassle for me. Um, they could have done something a little bit better with that. And then also we have to the left of it, we have this little magnetic clip right here. You can just pull from down here, pull that off. You can see that it's magnetic. But anyways, once you pull that off, that is how you access your bottle to fill it with more e-liquid. And when you want to fill this bad boy with some more e-liquid, all you have to do is simply pull down on your bottle. You'll see this come out like so. And then when you want to fill it with e-liquid, just simply pull it all the way off. Fill it with e-liquid. Stick it back on there. Slide it up. And then... You're good to go. All you have to do is snap this bad boy back on and there you go. You're good to go with it. So now that you have the battery in there and you have the e-liquid filled up and your wick is basically saturated, just fire it up. All right, guys. So you just got a close up view of the Kinger drip box starter kit and what do you think about it? Just share your thoughts with me in the comments section below on here on YouTube and let me know what you actually think. Is this something that would be uh, that you would be interested in, or 
do you think we're past those times? For me personally, I think the idea of a bottom feeding mod is still a cool design. I've never actually owned a bottom feeding mod, but I've used them in the past and they work flawlessly. I ran into a friend the other day when I was visiting uh, a store. Uh, you might know him. His name is Scuba Bat Dan. He's uh, uh, pretty well known on ECF. He's a... He's a uh, I really don't know how to describe him. He can make any kind of part for electronic cigarettes that you can think of. And he, he just loves working with his hands. A really cool guy. But when I met him over there, he said that he just happened to have the drip box and he said that he hated it. And the reason why he said he hated it is simply because that RDA, it didn't offer something that he's normally, uh, that he's used to. And being a person like that, you know, uh, he's had some history with squonkers himself. So I'm pretty sure it doesn't really live up to the US devices that he's had in the past. So of course he modified it and made it better. But besides that, and besides his opinion of saying he thought it was shit, so far I'm liking it. Like I said, I've never owned a squonker myself. I've used them in the past, but never owned one. But now that I'm getting the chance to actually use it, play around with it, and you know, really get to use it and uh, see how it works firsthand for quite a while or a long period of time, I'm digging the way the way this squonker is. And it actually makes me wonder why I never picked one up for myself. So guys, I got some e-liquid in this seven mil bottle. I got uh, just about a full battery in here. And let's see how she's, uh, let's see how she's doing. Now remember, this pre-built coil in this RDA is a 0 0.2 ohm uh, dual coil. You can order these coils pre-made like this on the, de the deck itself. So even if you're not into RDAs, you've never messed with coils yourself, you're more of a newer vapor, this is something that you can still work with being that they let you basically order a pack of these coils individually made on the deck. Now normally if you're messing with an RDA, you would actually have to build the coils yourself and then you would have to wick them yourself and uh, hopefully you got it at the right resistance that you wanted it at. But with this, you simply order the coils, the 0 0.2 ohm coils, you put you another coil in there and you're good and rocking. No need for all that knowledge, just screw your uh, deck on and you're good to vape. And it provides a good vape, to be honest with you. Um, let's see. I'm still juiced up pretty good, but just in case, I want to go ahead and slide some more of that juice in there. So I just press on there. It fills it up. It makes my wick soaked even more than it already is. Let's see. And you see it just keeps going. I want to put more in there. Juice it up a little bit again. Good to go. I mean to be honest with you, this is a this is a cool ass setup. You you're not using a tank. I look, I don't like to use RDAs. And the reason why I don't is because I hate fucking dripping every 5 seconds. Yes, the, there's nothing like the taste of using RDAs. You get that flavor uh, right there. It doesn't have to go through a pathway or anything like that We're, with like clear misers. It's just straight vape right there to your mouth. I mean, basically to, to sum it up. And that's why I like RDAs, but I hate the act of actual dripping. And that is why I use tanks so damn much. But with something like this drip box starter kit right here, uh, it being a squonker, I don't have to drip. I can continuously just hit that uh, little bottle right here to feed e-liquid up in there into that RDA and keep vaping. Now, I do want to try this on a fully charged battery. Matter, matter of fact, let me try that now. Okay, I'm sticking a new battery in here. Sorry about that. I'm sticking a new battery in here and I want to try it on a full charge. I know that 
that other battery that I was using, it was almost full, but I want to see if I can get some more umph, some more power out of this. Let's see how this one is. Yeah, you can see. Performs great. I can continuously just keep vaping on this RDA. All I have to do is just match that little bottle right there and I'm good to go. It's just, uh, that's what I like about devices. All this shit where, you know, uh, dripping, uh, it's just inconvenient as shit for me. For I like something, that's why I've been using a lot of little mods also is because it's convenient, it's small. Um, it's all about convenience for me and th having this squonker like this where you can just press this bottle, that's very convenient and uh, I'm definitely digging this drip box. Just keep pumping out the clouds, man. That's all it's about. I'm starting to get a little bit dry. Pump some more e-liquid in there. Yeah, works just like it's supposed to. Now my wick is completely saturated once again. No more dryness. I suck at O's. How cool is that? All right, guys, so once again, as you can see, I'm fogging up my damn office. But anyways, what do you think about this mod? I think it's cool as shit. I'm definitely going to be putting this in my rotation of daily mods that I use. And to be honest with you guys, those of you that are newer to vaping, if you haven't got into RDAs, this is a very, very cool way to get into RDAs right now especially with the convenience that you get. Not only are you getting that, but you're getting a mod that's very small as well. It's got a light feel to it. It feels really good in the hand. And uh, over here, I have no complaints at all. So guys, if you wanna pick up this Kanger Drip Box Starter Kit, then you can go to aspenvalleyvapes.com and experience the same beauty of a vape that I'm experiencing right now. So guys, that about wraps up this video for today. If you like this video, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it in the future, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So until next time, guys, vape on. Get that pump on.